Welcome to CSM Live Day Number Three. What a show we got lined up today, and I'm joined today for the first time by Maria. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. Very excited today about the show that we've got lined up. We got interviews coming up with Matt Beckett and Adam Juice, the Union Officer for Postgraduate and LGBT Society, respectively. Interviews with Radio One's very own Ali Jones. Uh, music live in the studio from Andy McCaffrey. Plus, we continue our tours of the campus, uh, the campuses around Cardiff University uh, with the Talibant residences, where many of you will be residing over the next year. We'll be talking to Express live as well, courtesy of Matt and Sam. And don't forget as well, you can tweet us at Cardiff Union TV, hashtag CSM Live. Very excited today because we have a special competition to win two free hangover breakfasts. Uh, courtesy of Cafe 37. All you have to do is tweet us using the hashtag CSM Live, uh, your favourite hangover breakfast. And don't forget as well, you can like us on Facebook as well. So, Maria, without further ado, we are joined right now by Matt Beckett and Adam Juice. Uh, Matt, first of all, uh, you're the postgraduate officer. Could you just tell us what that involves? Basically, that just involves uh, representing the postgraduate community and just trying to make sure everyone gets a say in what is going on in the union. And what have you been up to so far in Freshers? Uh, so far, I've just been trying to get myself out there, trying to get my um, face around the union and uh, trying to help out in any way I can. So, for instance, we're doing a brick brack sale today, yep. uh, if you'd like to come down for that. Um, so, postgraduate and international students and Freshers can pick up like affordable kitchen equipment. Any exciting events coming up in the future? Um, the Postgrad Centre is actually doing uh, fortnight of events, so we've got things from quizzes to pub crawls to cafe crawls, so there's something for everyone. Brilliant. Okay, and thank you Matt, and Adam as well now, you're the Union Officer for the LGBT uh, Society, could you just tell us a bit about what that involves? Yep, um, well it's the association that I'm head of, um, which breaks down into the society and the campaigns team. Uh, basically, I'm here to represent all LGBT plus students, um, lesbian, gay, bi and trans, for those who don't know the acronym, um, and to make sure that their stay at Cardiff University is free from any prejudice um, and is as welcoming as possible. And what kind of um, incentives have you got to try to raise awareness, as it were? Uh, well, this year I've got many different projects that I hope to focus on. Um, one of them is uh, LGBT plus in religion, making sure that people don't have to uh, restrict one half of how they identify in order to be accepted in the other half. Um, also, I want to continue what Jack, the officer last year, has done with Out in Sport, um, to include it in Out in Societies as well, making sure that all committees are aware of the necessary training for LGBT plus related issues. And of course, yeah, do you think it's fair to say that religion is the last big barrier, as it were, to, um, you know, to um, allowing homosexuals, you know, Christian homosexuals, Muslim, whatever, do you think that's the last big barrier, as it were? Um, well, th there are a number of barriers out there. Uh, religion is um, a very controversial issue um, in to re with regards to sexual orientation, and gender identity, but I do feel that it needs to be covered because obviously people need to feel safe and feel as though their chaplain needs to be approachable in that regard. Um, and so basically we just want to raise awareness about that and also promote um, different uh, places uh, of worship in Cardiff that are open to LGBT plus students. Well, thank you very much both for coming to talk to us here on CSM Live and we wish you the very best of luck for the rest of the year. Okay. Now then, Maria. Yes, so um, talking about uh, Cardiff University residences yes. for all you freshers out there, yeah. um, where did you live uh, during your freshers year? I lived in Talibont South, right. I think one of the best places to be definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think very, very good place to be, lots of 
things to do, lots of people to see. Where did you live? I, I didn't live for my first year. I commuted uh, back and forth from Barry, um, which is okay, but it just kind of hurt the social side of things, I suppose. But, uh, you know, it, it's not a bad thing, really. You know, if any of you commuters out there, don't worry. You know, it's absolutely fine. Uh, basically, what we're going to be doing now is just taking you through a look at the Taliban residences. So take a look at this. CUTV are here at Talibont um, in order to have a chat with all the freshers that are moving in uh, on the second day. Speaking with the welcome crew um, who enable freshers to settle in easily and to provide any information um, where relevant. And here we're at Tally with Sophie and Grace. someone yesterday who came and said um we i just tried to move into my room but somebody's stuff is already in there and i don't know what to do <laughs> welcome to cardiff uni what are your names laura alicia mike steve Kat, charlotte so did you go out last night yeah, yeah we did yeah. <laughs> where did you end up glam we went to glam was, it? Yeah. was that good yeah that was really good and it all feel a bit worse for wear today yeah, yeah a little bit did you free drink before you went out yeah. Did you play any games? Ring yeah, of Ring of Fire, obviously. Obviously. Anybody get the who got the king? I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did think you looked a bit white today. A little bit rough. A little bit rough. What are you really looking forward to most of, through freshers? Um, just going out. <laughs> I think it was just nice to like to meet everyone and meet new people, just make new friends. Pink party. What was the reason you chose to come to Cardiff? Because brilliant city, great uni. Good shout. I just really love the medical centre, the Heath. Do you know any Welsh at all? No. Would you like to know any Welsh? I know where microwave <laughs> is. Oh, that's the only word I know. <laughs> what is it? The pop the ping. Pop the ping? Yeah. Is that like, like a taking a girl back? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a euphemism or taking a girl back. It oh. is a microwave. <laughs> oh my God, because it goes like ping. Maria, uh, moving into residences, just continuing our little chat. Yes. Um, all the kind of facilities that you need are there, as we've just seen. Yeah. Um, so, again, I lived in Taliban, so we had a nice big kitchen. There was eight of us living there, which is quite a squeeze. Um, and we had a little shower room, which always flooded. You'll find this. It does flood, so be careful. Um, and a nice... Um, all the bedrooms are really nice. Quite small, but you can fit a lot in. I have a lot of clothes, fit them all in fine. Um, yeah, and then you have a little gym, which is a lot of people go to. That's um, between Sal Taliban South and North. Uh, what else do we have? A lot of things. And what about five alarm drills early in the morning? What was it like for those? Well, I lived in house six and every night, pretty much. For the first month, I didn't have much sleep, but hopefully they would have sorted that out a bit by now. I think it's late night toast, burning a lot <laughs> of toast is what freshers seem to do. Could you have like a competition where you just kind of guess who set off the five alarm or something? Yes. Usually it was the same boy in our oh. flat. <laughs> and also the showers, if you have a very late night shower, sometimes sets off the fire alarm. So, really? Yeah. Well, you have it that hot, it creates smoke. Some people it's do. <laughs> instead of steam. Well, there we are, revelations live on air at CSM. Now then, as well, talking about um, Taliban as well, like, say, like the bedrooms or something, are they comfortable, are they homely? Yeah, I think the thing to do is to make them um, pretty, or if you're a boy, manly, and put lots of posters up, and it just makes it feel more homey and less like halls. Mm -hmm. Now then, uh, Freshers is well underway right now, isn't it, Maria? And uh, you may well have seen Express uh, strutting their stuff around the Union and elsewhere. And you may also well have spotted a big purple dinosaur around on the march. So don't worry, you weren't imagining it. Just have a look at this.
Dinosaur and here to talk with us now is Matt, the uh, station manager of Express, and Hello. Sam, the deputy. Hello. Now then, what have you been up to during this freshers period? Well, we've been um, going all around Cardiff University campus doing some outside broadcasts. We've been to Taliban, we're Taliban Social yesterday. We've been down in the TAF. We're going to be going to St. Geneth over the weekend, the TAF again, and just going to be at the Freshers' Fair on the 26th and the 27th of September. So if you're around, come and say hello. Come and say hello to the dinosaur. Give him a big hug and sign up for Express. We've, uh, we've also got a uh, timetable planned uh, for the ma main bulk of Freshers' Week as well. We've uh, pre-recorded some shows. Uh, and we're doing a live pre-drink show as well for each uh, event that's at the Union, so that's cool. Uh, I've personally been drinking a lot of Barocca. Uh, it's much nicer when you don't clean your teeth first. So, if you want to get involved, if you're freshers, first year, second, what do you do? Well, basically, come and say hello to us whenever we'll be around in uh, campus. Uh, go and like us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Express Radio. And um, we'll give details of where we're going to be. Yeah. And we'll be at the Freshers' Fair, so we'll have a sign-up system there. And then there'll be an all-media meeting on the 1st of October, I think it is, in um, somewhere in the Union. So this is it. And we'll be there, so we'll give all the details on how you can apply and how you can get a show. And can you reveal to us any plans which you've got coming up for the rest of the year post-Freshers? Uh, post freshers, we've uh, the first thing is going to be Soon Festival, which is uh, a festival uh, which is around a lot of venues in uh, Cardiff. It's a yearly thing put on by Hugh, Ste uh, Hugh Stevens. Um, I nearly said Hugh Edwards. Then that's that's that wouldn't be no. He's very be a different. Different, <laughs> different festival. I'd still go, uh, but that would be different. Uh, so we're going to be uh, doing some coverage and some interviews uh, in that, getting involved in that, and it's, and it's a great event. Uh, for college students to attend and check out as well. Beyond then, uh, we've we've got various events. Uh, there's big ones in in on the calendar like Varsity, but that's that's plenty of time away. Uh, throughout the year, in terms of broadcasting, we're looking to get more uh, speech and drama programming out there because uh, we tried and tested some stuff last year with Hannah and Ed, last year's uh, dep uh, manager and deputy manager. And uh, we tried something out in the Gouda Who, and uh, it, it was a good sort of trial. So we're looking forward to trying some new stuff out. And obviously, we've, we, we've got a fantastic exec team this year who we're looking forward to working with for music shows and stuff. So it's it's quite exciting. And what do you think the the best event to do would be? Best event to do? It depends on what you're in. Really, there's always something that, um, that someone will be interested in. So if you're interested in music, then Soon Festival is yeah. absolutely fantastic. If you're into sport, Varsity is one of the best days of the year. Even if you're not into sport, Varsity is absolutely fantastic to be involved in when you if, with broadcasting. Um, yeah, there's just plenty of events that um, will appeal to anyone, really. And also, as well, as far as programmes are concerned on the radio, any ideas welcome? Yeah, absolutely. Um, come and pitch us an idea. Um, and we'll see what we think. Great, well thank you very much both for coming to talk to us here on CSM. Thanks, thanks for having us. Yes, and no problem at all. Now then, uh, Maria, talking about uh, nights out, as we say fresh is well underway. Um, have you been out at all so far this... Uh... I haven't. I haven't been out. I've I've failed <laughs> as a, well, going into third year fresher, so not quite as cool <laughs> as the first years. Um, no, I think next next week is the week to be out. I haven't been out either, but then I have been working behind a bar. Is that acceptable? That's, is that that's acceptable, yeah. yeah. Well, anyone who was in Solus uh, yesterday probably noticed a very special person doing the DJ set for the evening. Uh, none other than Radio 1's very own Ali Jones and Helen Griffiths, our very own station deputy manager here at CUTV, went up to catch up with him late last night. Have a look at this. Okay. That one's good. Hi, I'm Helen from CUTV and I'm here with Alad Hayden Jones who's DJing in the Union tonight. Hi Alad. Hello, how, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm very good, thanks. Um, so you've been to Cardiff a few times before, haven't you? Yes. Have you got any funny stories from previous visits? Um, I think uh, Cardiff Uni was the only freshers week I've ever done where Don't Stop Believing got two guys punching each other at the front. I was kind of, how do you go from that song to this action? Everyone else around them was singing along happily, except for them in the middle. So I'm hoping it wasn't the song. I hope they had their own issues and it was nothing to do with Glee. Yeah, that's a bit crazy. That's the least likely song to have a punch up to that. ever. <laughs> but, um, have you got any songs in particular? that you're looking forward to playing tonight or any particular uh, crowd, uh, 
crowd pleasers, sorry. Yeah, you do see that songs kind of come in and out of fashion. And the last couple of weeks, the Avicii, obviously, any Avicii song is doing really well. But the, the number one he had is pretty big at the moment. So I'm looking forward to playing that one. And also, uh, this is Rihanna. I mean, it, it's, it's a couple of years old now, but it just gets the, the whole room every single time. So I'm really looking forward to playing that tonight. Yeah, you can't go wrong with Rihanna. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Have you heard of The Fox by Elvis? Yeah. Are you going to be playing The Fox at all? Do you think it would go down well? I think so. We love it in the student media office. We like can't stop listening to it, um, and particularly the sounds that the fox makes. I have to be honest, actually, that's a that's a secret from Radio One as well. Everyone in the building is going, "Oh my god, this is terrible! This is really terrible!" But you will find at least five different computers showing the video, and everyone's just kind of staring at it in slight disbelief, but at the same time finding it hilarious. You're from Aberystwyth and you went to Swansea Uni, didn't you? That's true. So, Actually, um, yeah, I went to Swansea Uni but lived in Cardiff. So uh, it always feels like a bit of a home crowd. So, okay. touch wood, it's always been brilliant nights whenever I've done Cardiff. I do sometimes do clubs in town as well as I do uh, university gigs. So I've done quite a few in Cardiff and so far all been amazing. Excellent, that's what we like to hear. You do the surgery on... Sunday nights. Yes. You did a uni special recently, <laughs> didn't you? How, what kind of issues did you find came up in that? What do you find that freshers struggle with the most at uni? It is actually overwhelmingly making friends. I think that's what scares most people before they come to university. Uh, we had lots of calls. Some very sensible people were worried about money, worried about the workload and whether it was going to get even more from A-levels. But the overwhelming number of texts and calls were I've got my group of friends in school, I get on really well with them, I've built that group up over the last few years what if no one likes me, what if I don't make friends, what if I hate it, what if I miss home these are the kind of issues. So what we did was we interviewed uh, Feet Up Friday guys who came on to Radio 1 on Fridays and I interviewed DJs and also some of the staff at Radio 1 about their fears before university and then the reality of it you know and how it was a few days later Every one of them said it was fine. Mm -hmm. So everyone who's nervous about going to uh, university because they want to make friends, give it a few days and you'll look back and you go, why was I so worried? What a waste of energy. Well, that's a good note to enter on, I Thank think, you, because that's yes, great advice. Joined. Thank you very much. So uh, we are next up with Hugh, who's going to be interviewing some freshers that are new um, this year, and they're going to be telling you all about their freshers experience so far. Thank you, Marie. Yes, I'm joined right now by some of our new freshers for 2013. Uh, first of all, how have you found Cardiff? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's been a really good experience so far. We're enjoying freshers. So. Yeah surviving it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and how about you? Yeah, really enjoying it. I'm moving in on Sunday. I've just come up to get all my stuff. Where are you living, can I ask? Um, Taliban South. Oh, lovely. Yeah, we're the same. She's opposite me. So. Oh, that's great. Yeah, we've just been um, previewing um, Taliban uh, live on the show. So uh, now, the killer question is, we are in the capital of Wales. Do you know any Welsh? We do. We're both Welsh. We're from like half hour away. So oh, where from? We, I, we, I'm from Taliban. Yeah. So Oh, lovely. So can you give us any Welsh words which you know, poverty ping or anything like that? Um, do we know oh the good morning. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, that's good morning, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, Avid is drink. Yeah. <laughs> what is this, sorry? Avid. Avid. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. always need that, particularly <laughs> in Solis. I was going to say, um, have you been out at all? We went out last night. Yeah, yeah. we went to walk about. Good. I mean, I went to rest before that. Was quite good. Oh, lovely, yeah. So, quite busy, I'm imagining. Yeah. Well, it was packed, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great, girls. Well, thank you very much. I'll let you go. <laughs> All right, so it's, thank you very much for joining us here today. And it's back to Maria. Thank you, Hugh. Um, so, next, we have a CUTV uh, video about where the best places um, to have a hangover breakfast. I certainly, every time I go out the next morning, I have to have a breakfast. Otherwise, I just feel awful. I think it's the best thing for a hangover. So let's take a look. Hi, I'm Ollie. This is CUTV's top three places to get a hangover breakfast. Today, we're at Cafe 37 on Salisbury Road in Cattays. 
While I'm waiting for my breakfast, one of the big draws of Cafe 37 are its milkshakes. They come in a massive variety of flavours and you can bring in your own chocolate bar and they'll just make one of those for you. So now when breakfast is here, this is the Cafe 37 breakfast, it will knock out any hangover. And here are their pancakes, which are really thick and fluffy. And they've got these, the strawberry ones, ice cream on top, and a nice little jug, maple syrup. I dig in. If that's cured your hangover and you feel ready to go again, Cafe 37 has also got a fully licensed bar. I'm now at Raymond's on Salisbury Road in Catace and I'm about to take on the Mammoth Breakfast Challenge. As you can see there, it's pretty big and uh, this is a proper, proper greasy spoon place. If you like your breakfast proper slathered in your grease, knock out that alcohol in your system, this is the place to come. So let's go and have a look inside. It really looks like a lot on there, and then you see it. It's just so much food, this is ridiculous. It's now 10 minutes from time, and it's looking bleak. It's looking really bleak. Right, it's official, I have been beaten, and it's just that the scale of this thing is just ridiculous. I mean, we've done, knocked out three of the burgers, most of the most of the black pudding, but still, there's just no, not even touched on the carbs. I mean, that's a loaf of bread. I look absolutely pathetic. If you're not feeling quite ready to eat your hangover away, you should come down here. I'm now at College House on North Road. It's a really nice place, really chilled out, relaxed, lots of squidgy sofas. The service is fantastic and the coffee's really good. Everything's homemade, they sell cakes, little light bites to eat. The best thing about this place though is its location. It's so close to Taliban Court and if you live in Taliban, you're going to walk past this place every single day to get to your lectures. So if all you need to get over your hangover is some coffee and less noise, come down to College House and just chill out. This has been CUTV's top three places to nurse hangover. We hope you find this guide useful. We know you'll need it. And do enjoy your freshers week. Mmm, they do look like lovely breakfast indeed, don't they, Maria? They do. And we're not even hungover. We're not. So, <laughs> what's your favourite breakfast? Uh, my fa Do you know, I'm not a big eater in the mornings, to be honest. I just like a bowl of cereal, a couple of rounds of toast, just, you know, line the stomach. But I, ca I can't eat anything too heavy in the morning. See, I can't have, like, anything like sausage or egg, or I'm allergic no. to egg anyway. But I can't have, like, bacon or anything mm -hmm. like that. I can't have a full fry-up in the mornings, no. What about you? Oh, uh, when I'm hungover, I oh. have the biggest breakfast ever. Sausages, bacon, hash browns, sometimes chips as well. Oh, Baked really? beans, ketchup, anything. Anything that's in the house or uh, out the house. And does it taste nicer when someone's actually gone and made it for yes, you? Yes, a lot nicer. <laughs> Especially when hungover and yes, just, or... Oh. I couldn't, no, I can't, I can't cook when I'm hanging. I can't. <laughs> I was going to say, should it be called an actual hangover breakfast? Should it be not be called, like, brunch? Or at least, yeah, because there's not going to be many people no, up around breakfast time, no, is there? No, definitely not. <laughs> you know, past 12, probably? I don't think anyone's going to yeah. be up now if they're uh, if they've been out yeah so maybe it should be called a hangover lunch yes or something like that and remember in in earlier in the show we were talking about hangover breakfasts uh do tweet us your favorite hangover breakfast slash brunch slash lunch as we've now uh, deciphered uh, in order to win, hopefully, for you, two free breakfasts courtesy of Cafe Number 37. Now then, moving on, we do have a very special uh, live session, don't we, Maria? Yes, very. 
uh, courtesy of Cardiff University's very own Andy McCaffley. And without further ado, here's CUTV's very own Miss Alice Hart. I hadn't actually planned on that. I've sort of, sort of just been turning up to some. Oh, so you really. have been going out this week? Yeah, yeah. But you're not going for the whole freshers wristband No, they sold out anyway, didn't they? So. Apparently so, yeah. <laughs> um, what is like your favourite freshers memory? Did you do anything wild back in the day? Oh, uh, <laughs> freshers is sort of just a one big drunken blur, yeah. sort of. I think most people would yeah. agree with that. It was fun. <laughs> so what else are you kind of up to at the moment? I hear that next week is quite a big week for you. Yeah, finally releasing a new EP. Sort of um, something I've been working on for quite a few months now. Mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, it's finally just all coming together. And it's, uh, yeah, excited. Okay, yeah. and have you got any, like, gigs um, planned to No, like, I'm, I'm sort of, I'm, I'm starting in sort of a new act. So what, what I do is sort of like a project, like I write all the a music. and project. Yeah, 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 I sort of write all the music and then record it. But when I play live, I get other people to go play with me. And I've got a girl playing violin and a fella playing piano. So you have so. like a side band too, right? Yeah, yeah. So. Very musical then. <laughs> um, which of the two do you prefer doing? Do you prefer doing oh, solo well, stuff? Maybe or? choose. Uh, I guess you I can't really say you like prefer being on your own, really. Yeah, don't I don't know. I, I've that. always hated gigging on my own, so I sort of I like to have some kind it's of band nervous. with me. Yeah. But it's this is predominantly sort of me writes and you know, records all the music. So I sort of like it in that respect. There's a lot of creative control. Yeah, but you at the can same do time, more like what you want. Yeah, but at the same time, when I play in my other band, Animal Brothers, who are a cheeky plug, but they, um, <laughs> yeah, I sort of like taking a back seat in that one. So okay. Just... And um, up next, then, you're going to play something special for us. What's that? Uh, I'm going to play the lead track off the EP that's coming out next week, and it's a song called Loveless. It's, I recorded this at Middle Farm Studios in on Dartmoor in Devon with James Bragg. Um, yeah, just what I just want to play. Okay, we'll take it away. <coughs> Thank Thanks. you. Cheers. lovers behind and don't look back because I've tried my best to compensate for all the good things that I lack but it's hard when you're sleeping alone but the space beside you will be filled with knowledge of a home you will outgrow You will outgrow So love will lay in your side And know that you don't have to be alone Tonight I know you Better than I know anyone else I know you better than I know myself The distance is lower But an ocean, the bread of the earth Was all that we'd have to overcome And we will prove them wrong if time was all that separates us from an eventuality of what we will become So love will lay in your side And know that you don't have to be alone Tonight I know you better than I know anyone else I know you better than I know myself We 
are loveless. We are loveless. We are loveless when we try. We are loveless. We are loveless. We are loveless, you and I. Cause I know you better than I know anyone. And I know you better than I know myself. We always say one step at a time. Someday we will make this work. So between smiles and all of the good times, we will try to avoid the. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. Brilliant song. Absolutely beautiful, wasn't it? Oh, brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. So that's all for today. Um, remember our competition. Tweet us with your favourite breakfast or your breakfast today. Big, wh small, whatever, you, whatever your breakfast is, tweet us. Yes, indeed. And uh, a big well done to Maria today as well on her presenting <laughs> debut. And indeed, thanks to everybody who has appeared on the show today. And thanks to everybody who makes CSM Live happen. We'll be back same time tomorrow, broadcasting every day for the next two weeks. We will see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Bye.